For how long do you intend continuing this way? For a very long time now, you've been procrastinating that very project you ought to have done three months ago, four months ago, five months ago. And now we are in September. And now the year is, is almost ending. And you've not done the project yet. And you think you'll do it next year. <laughs> Let me shock you. Next year, you might not even do it. Procrastination is a killer of time. Is a killer of projects, the killer of good results, is a killer of success. In this very video, I want to show you quickly the effects of procrastination in your business and also in your skill. Procrastination is just like you leaving what you ought to do today for tomorrow. You think you will do it tomorrow, but in the recent, you will finally see yourself not doing it follow me in this video quickly as i show you the effect and how you can do without procrastinating in your business to get the results that you ought to get follow me procrastination has finally become one of the major diseases that affects so many businesses and to you you feel like you are feeling like a boss on your own you're feeling like nobody can control you you're not under anybody who tell you to do this or do that and now you're not feeling since i'm a boss on my own i can tell myself whenever i want to do whatsoever i want to do now postponement occasionally is different from procrastinating frequently do you understand you might want to just postpone any event you want to do or any project you want to do till next time but procrastinating frequently is something that has become one of the major diseases in many businesses and those that are acquiring skills and you really need to deal with it quickly before it kills your business finally all right i don't want to waste much time here let me just go into how it affects your business growth negatively you understand you told your customer you'll be doing the clothes in two weeks time now it's four weeks it will affect your customer base and they'll start leaving your business in every area procrastination is a deadly disease and you need to deal with it quickly okay let's go to the first slide of what we have here now procrastination leads to loss of precious time what you you are supposed to do today you finally didn't do it today you told yourself okay i want to do it by next week now it's now next week you didn't do it there is no way you continue like this and you you'll be able to utilize your time very well in business you will keep having shortage of time and less productivity do you understand the more you procrastinate you will not be productive because what you ought to do you didn't do it you told yourself next time i finally didn't do it so you keep wasting time and you are not productive at the end of the day okay let me read what i got here as a business there is no way you'll be productive because you keep telling yourself you'll do this you'll do that and you're not doing it so time is going and you are not productive at the end of the day okay let me read what i got here as a business time is one of the most valuable commodity you have yes the most valuable commodity you have is not money it's not your product it's your time i think i said one time it is actually how you can judiciously um undo the time you have that you now finally have money you understand if you cannot manage the time you have there is no way you will have money okay wasting time is just equivalent to leaving money do you get that on the table it's like throwing that money in an open flame and standing there to watch it burn you understand so if you are wasting time you are burning money because time as they say is money it is the way you judiciously manage time that money comes so you wasting that time is just as if you are wasting and throwing away money all right 
may sound like I am being dramatic, but procrastination can cause you to lose out on precious time that could have been spent on something productive, something that could have moved your business forward. So time loss is only the start of many other problems that can make your business not to grow. Do you understand? So let's move to the next slide quickly because I don't intend wasting time here. Another negative effect that it has or one of the major diseases also that procrastination can inflict in your business is blown opportunities. Opportunities keeps coming, but your ability to dive into these opportunities is actually you not procrastinating. All right, let me read what I got here. Opportunity knocks, but sometimes it only knocks once. Do you get that? If you are not ready to answer the door and seize the opportunity or the moment, you just might miss it out. You might miss it out. Do you understand? So most times people do procrastinate over time and when opportunity comes, they will finally don't see themselves jumping into it. They'll be like, okay, I would I will jump into this opportunity in three days' time. And in the recent, it's just that their mind is not set to jump into the opportunity. So it will make the opportunity to go off their face because they are not ready for it. Okay? Imagine your company looking at another prosperous business to either merge or buy them out. These things definitely take time. But if you wait too long, a competitor might jump on the deal and snatch them right from underneath you. Business leaders must understand the importance of moving quickly while the process of evaluating their options. You need to jump into opportunities quickly because you might not see them again. Some opportunities are just to come to your doorstep once and after that, you will not get to see that opportunity anymore. Do you understand? Alright, the third point I have here is poor financial decision. Poor financial decisions. Procrastination leads to this also do you understand the decisions you make in regards your finances can make or break you when our old friend procrastination is involved the later is usually the result for instance let's say you have been planning to make an investment in a recently launched technology but want to wait until the price goes down before hopping on the bandwagon. The price may indeed go down, but what if it goes up? In this case, you may feel the need to jump for competitive reasons and end up making a poor financial decision that costs you, which is just bad for business. You understand? Some decisions you make are either making you or breaking you. So, when you are not good in taking decisions, when you ought to take decisions, you will finally make those decisions to break you or break your business. It will break you or break your business, okay? So, procrastination actually is a disease that makes your financial decision to be very poor because you not jumping into that decision and taking it up. It's just as if you are, you are being cold to it and I, and at the end of the day you finally not get the result that you ought to get okay yeah so the next point is create false sense of progress procrastination has its way of creating a false sense of progress as i was saying in the beginning of this very video i said you feel like you're the boss on your own so there is no way um trying to be under anybody so you you give yourself um instructions the way you want to and when you want to but on the long run this i'm a boss on my own and using it to uh, delay your projects in disguise is very very wrong because you'll be the one telling yourself i'm making progress and in the recent you've been procrastinating postponing things can sometimes work out in your favor however businesses must realize that there is difference between the occasional postponement and procrastinating on a regular basis i say this in the beginning of this video so when you 
postpone your projects because maybe probably things are on your table so much and you want to fix them before you go into whatever you want to do is different from when you are procrastinating over and over again all right when procrastination becomes a regular part of your routine it can create an illusion that you are on a slow road to success when it's delaying disappointment is coming up and much failure is keep hitting on your door okay this is neither good on a business or personal level either in business in personal level it's no good do you understand because procrastinating will make you not to achieve anything good do you understand you feel like the right time is to the right time to do it is not now and there is no right time except you give yourself the 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 opportunity to see that the right time is now okay so the next slide is ruin customer relationships do you understand procrastination can deepen into your business today to the extent that it will run your customer relationship procrastination can also run relationships you have with your customers the more they come the more you keep the more you keep telling them next week next week next week they'll be like your next week is not ending so they can't work with somebody that is not serious okay they feel like you are not serious so they can't work with you and you 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 feel like you just lost one or two customers but in the recent you've lost 10 to 20 customers because those persons that are living are telling others what is happening in your business and the bad experiences they had in your business as i said in one of my videos okay so in recent it is affecting your business and is bringing bad omen to your business okay it could start small and blow up to something hugely negative face it's feeling to respond to their inquiries in a timely manner then it's not getting their orders out on time no matter what form it takes procrastination is a relationship killer for the simple it betrays the trust that existed between you and your customer once that happens your entire image could take a hit you understand so the more you continue doing this gradually it will affect the relationship you build over time with your customers and to affect your business too all right so the next slide is damage your reputation and this is the last slide i have in this very video procrastination can go a long way in damaging your reputation what you've been building for a long time it will damage it because if you can just kill the first impression you give to your customers at first if you can kill it by this um, attitude of procrastinating your reputation will be at stake okay so let me read what i got here if your business becomes known for procrastinating and not delivering your reputation is born to take a hit reputation management is crucial in times when everything ab about you can easily find its way to a to a discussion forum blog or social network don't think your customers won't use these channels to speak negatively because they will in a heartbeat don't think your customers won't use these channels to speak negatively about you because they will in a heartbeat and the more you procrastinate with servicing them the more likely they are to do so it's do you understand so no matter how you want to say it procrastinating in your business affects your business all around apart from affecting your business all around in your personal life when you procrastinate your your routine your schedules it will actually go a long way in making you know to achieve what you want to achieve in the right time so procrastination is a deadly disease procrastination is a killer of success a killer of good results you don't want to remain at that spot of procrastinating to some persons right now listening to me you are so comfortable procrastinating consciously or unconsciously you are doing it and it has become part of you right now so you need to let go of it and begin to hit your projects at that time you say you want to eat it don't leave it till the next day don't leave it till two weeks time or three weeks time you can do that project now 
I can't do that project now. Whatever you feel is stopping you from doing the project, just do well by making inquiries, putting things together to make sure you get them so that you will not end up procrastinating and results will be far from you. I'm very sure you got value in this very video and you want to share to others so that they will learn and begin to do things that will make their business grow. Okay, do well to subscribe to my channel if you are coming in for the first time and don't forget to on your notification bell so that when next my video will be coming, you will be aware. I noticed that so many persons are not on your notification bell, so they are not knowing when my video is coming in, so do well to do that. Cheers. Thank you for watching.